So the first question if if Nelson, if nation A grants nation B uh, the status of most favored nation, then both nations will be bound to allow free movement of labor and capital between them. It is not correct. Nation A will be bound to reduce all tariffs to zero on goods imports uh, imported from nation B. It is not correct. It is uh, all are not correct. It is simple. So it is jurisdiction under the WTO agreements. Countries cannot normally discriminate between their trading partners. A, tra a, tra a treatment with which is known as most favored nation status. So MFN means that every time a country lowers a trade barriers or opens up its market, it has to do so for the same good or services for all its trading partners, whether rich or poor, weak or strong. It is one of the core principles of WTO. Even if nation, if nation A allow nation B to be MFN partner, it does not mean that we'll come under free trading regime or will merge to be a common market. It is not. It just implies. It just implies that now nation A will be trading nations B in the same way as it treats its other WTO partners. <coughs> Okay, which with reference to the Kondasri scheme of the West Bengal government and said the following statements. Okay, uh, it is a it is it is a conditional cash transfer scheme aiming at improving the status of the well being of a girl's child, it's correct. It aims at reduce the reduction of in child marriage, it's correct. It received the United Nations Public Service Award in 2017. It's correct. With reference to laboratory for the conservation of endangered species, L A C O N E S, Lacones, the laboratory for the conservation of endangered uh, species, consider the following statements. So it is India's. India's only research facility in, uh, engaged in con conservation and preservation of wildlife and its resources. It's correct. So it is India's only research facility, Lacunes, Lacunes, Laboratory for Conservation of Endangered Species. Uh, it is India's only research facility engaged in conservation of and preservation of wildlife and its resources. Lagunas app has developed universal DNA based maker, marker for identification of wild animals from parts of parts and remains. Developed universal DNA based ma marker for identification of wild animals from parts of and remains. So both are correct. <coughs> so here is uh, learning. In a step in that would face further the case of conservation of endangered and protected animals, India is, has got its uh, got its first country and most modern national wildlife genetic resource bank, Lagunas. It is located in Hyderabad and at the laboratory of the conservation. So, uh, laboratory, laboratory for the conservation of endangered species, lacunas, lacuns, a research wing of the Center of for Cellular and Molecular Biology, CCMB. The state-of-the-art bank is equipped uh, with special and sophisticated equipment to preserve the genetic resource that could be utilized to virtually resurrected an animal species in case of, in case it goes extinct the bank that contains genetic resource of about 250 wildlife species and it's to recommend to preserve genetic resource that could be utilized into virtually resurrected an animal species the genetic resource bank will store, store genetic material of Indian species it will also help in protecting India's biodiversity and environment so like Achievements of Lacunas 
it is in this only research facility and uh, engaged in the conservation and preservation of wildlife and its resource it is it, it was it is established in it was established in 1998 with the help of central Jew authority of india csr and the government of other bodies lacunas lacunas has helped the mauser deer mouse deer conservation breeding center at nehru geological park to increase the value of population of mouse deer uh, in telangana forest amber forest for instance ran out the of mouse deer and through the efforts of lacunas the animal is now reintroduced in uh, amravad tiger reserve earlier lacunas has developed a universal dna based marker for identification of wild animals and from parts of remains it have it has a dna banking of more than 250 to 50 species of mammals birds and reptiles consider the following statements so the agreement of trade agreement on trade related aspects intellectual trips trade related intellectual uh, trade related aspects of intellectual property rights trips trips for how much trade related aspect of intellectual property Right. It is a uh, uh, agreement on trade tariffs between all member nations of the WTO sets down minimum standards for the regulation by national government of many forms of intellectual property. <coughs> so tariffs is an agreement between all the members of the WTO set down minimum standards for the regulation by national governments of many forms of intellectual property. agreements on trade related investment measures agreement on trade related investment measure are rules that restrict the preference of domestic firms and they have enables international firms to operate more easily within foreign markets so agreement on trade related trade uh, trade trade related investment measures are rules that restrict preference of domestic firms and thereby enable international firm to operate more easily within foreign markets and trips uh, between uh, agreements is between uh, all the members of wto set down minimum standard and for the regulation of uh, the national government of many form of intellectual property both are correct So next to thirteen, two strong winds are generated when these two forces are balanced with each other. So just two big winds are generated when two these two forces are balanced with each other. That is pressure gradient force and Coriolis force. So here you can see in the diagram. It is pressure gradient force. And it is called the Coriolis force. And here, the low pressure and high pressure. It is just a big wind. Uh, here, it uh, has their MB 1004 MB and 1008 MB. Here, low pressure, high pressure. It first is PGF and CF. And PC you can remember P upper and PC lower. And it is G PGC. Here, you can see high pressure, low pressure. Here, pressure gradient force. And it is resulting in pack and Coriolis force. As early as as the uh, an air pressure initially the adverse will move from high pressure to the low pressure because of that pressure gradient force. They go, however, at their at their air pressure begins to move. It is deflected by the Coriolis force to the right of the, in the northern hemisphere, to the left and on the southern hemisphere. So it, here it the as the air pressure begins to move. It deflects by the Coriolis force into the right force, right? It deflects by the Coriolis force to the north, right in the northern hemisphere, and left in the southern hemisphere. As the wind gains speed, the deflection increases until the Coriolis force equal, equal, equal to the pressure gradient force. As at this point, the wind will uh, be blowing parallel to the isobars. We, when this happens, this wind refers to as, to as geostrophic winds. Which of the which of these are is are the advantage of zero tillage system? So which of the which of these are the advantages of zero zero tillage system? It is uh, surface runoff is reduced due to pressure, presence of mulch, 
which surface runoff it is mainly reduced due to presence of mulch so and but one and two are not correct no nitrogen needs to be applied to the soil mineralization of the soil increases in meaning improving soil productivity it is not correct no nitrogen needs to be applied in the soil to the soil it is not correct in mineralization of the soil increases significantly improving soil productivity it's not correct but here you uh, are telling zero tillage system zero tillage system it is surface runoff is reduced due to presence of mulch so no till farm farming are also called zero tillage or direct uh, drip drilling is a way of growing crops or pasture pasture from year to year without disturbing the soil through tillage no tillage also delete uh, zero tillage is a minimum tillage practice in which the crop is sown directly into the soil not tilled since the harvest of the pre previous crop advantages are zero tillage soils are homogeneous in structure zero tillage or soil drilled soils are uh, homogeneous in structure with more number of earth worms organic matter content increases due to less mineralization decomposition or oxidation of the chemical compounds in organic matter in the uh, in the plant axial form so statement to wrong organic matter due to content increases due to less mineralization decomposition or oxidation of chemical compounds in organic matter in the plant axial form so second uh, wrong surface runoff is reduced due to the presence of mulch disadvantage higher amount of nitrogen has been applied to mineralization of organic matter in zero tillage system so one is wrong presence perennial weeds may be problem and high number of uh, volunteer plants and build of of fast so all are at disadvantage next to discuss the lok sabha the lok sabha has passed the arbitrary and arbitrary and conciliation bill 2018 amendment bill ac bill ac bill arbitration and arbitration and conciliation amendment bill 2018 what are the following so here you want to talk about the act the lok sabha passed and uh, the act contains provisions to deal with domestic and international arbitration so deal with uh, domestic and international the bill seeks to establish an independent body called arbitration called the arbitration council of india bill seeks to establish the independent body called arbitration council of india for the promotion of arbitration and so three is not correct uh, under the bill the judiciary is now prohibited no it is not correct from the dis uh, design designating arbitration institution for the appointment of arbitrators which was allowed in the arbitration council and council act 1996 not correct but one and two are correct it is a provision deal with the domestic and international arbitration and it establishes an independent body this the bill seeks to establish an independent body the arbitration council of india to promote law and arbitration so here you can see in the full article so it amended the arbitration council act 1996 Uh, arbitration and conciliation act the act contains provision to deal with domestic and international arbitration uh, and defines the law conducting conciliation program so here the features of the bill arbitration council of india the bill seeks to establish an independent body called arbitration council of india for the promotion of arbitration mediation conciliation and uh, the other alternative dispute resolution mechanism it functions include prim- framing policies for granting arbitral institution and excel- uh, accrediting accrediting meeting arbitration uh, arbitrators making policies for the establishment operations and maintenance of uniform professional standards for all alternate dispute judicial matters and maintaining maintaining a depository of arbitral awards made in the made in india and abroad uh, composition of the aci the aci uh, will consist of chairperson who is either 
judge of the Supreme Court, the judge of the High Court, Chief Justice of the High Court, and an eminent person of the, or the expert knowledge each conduct of our relation. Other members will include an eminent application uh, practitioner, an academician, and experiments experience in arbitration and governance appointees. Appoint, uh, appointment of arbitrators under the 1996 Act provides uh, uh, free act to appoint arbitrators in case of the disagreement on the appointment that the parties could request the Supreme Court or the conduct concerned High Court or any person in should be assigned designated by the Supreme Court to appoint as an arbitrator. Learning arbitrators in the settlement of dispute between the part two parties to contract by a natural the neutral third party, the arbitrator without restoring, resorting, the court acts and the process can be tailored uh, to suit parties, particular needs. Arbitrators can be chosen for their expertise, it is a confidential and can be superior and cheaper than court. There are limited groups of appeal, arbitral layouts are bear blinding and enforceable through courts. Flexible election of time limits under the 1996 arbitral tribunals are required to make their award within the period of 12 months of election proceedings. So the bill proposed to remove this time restriction of intellectual commercial arbitration. So, of course, the Supreme Court and High Court may now uh, design arbitral institution which parties can approach to for the appointment of arbitration for the international commercial as commercial arbitration appoints appointments will be made by the institutions designated by the Supreme Court. So an app application for appointment of the arbiters is required for disposed of within 30 days. So thank you. Next we discuss other questions. Thank you.